Hello and welcome. I want to say before the video gets started a little introduction to what I'm doing and what I plan on doing because the video that I had that would have been my intro and introduction failed on me. And so now I have to do a voiceover. So enjoy this voiceover. <laughs> So I will be starting my gameplay in 1.8.9 and this is because I, it's the last version I remember knowing very well, which is crazy because there's not that much added into it. Um, but just the future versions I hardly paid attention to. I know the combat update pretty well and the smaller versions that came after that, 1.10, 11, and 12. but. I honestly don't know the aquatic update very well and I don't know 1.14 and so on very well either. I just forgot, not really forgot, but just didn't delve too deep into them and so many came out that it felt like a like my brain was going to explode trying to figure them out. So I'm starting from the beginning and I'm getting everything that I want to get done, setting up my home, some farms, learning some things. I think in this pre-learning versions of the game, I'm going to kind of delve into redstone a bit. Mostly tutorials that I'll see online, but still a dive into redstone. And I'll see where it goes from there. I do also want to note that you can hear my keyboard and my mouse in this video. I apologize. I'm having mic problems that I, I don't know what to do with, I don't know how to deal with. I hopefully will have it fixed or better in the next video, so please, I hope you can withstand that for just a small video. That's pretty much everything I had to say, and so I hope you enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, well, okay then. but. Anywho, here's the video. Goodbye. Hello. I'm back once again. I started to create a, like a strip mine, a little local mine down here, but I didn't come across any caves. I did, technically, but I couldn't find it. And oh boy, this is this these are the moments that remind me of like why I appreciate modern Minecraft and why I need to appreciate it a little bit more than I do. Just because of the fact that I don't know what I would do without the directional subtitles. You know, on the corner, bottom little corner of my screen. I absolutely love, 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 love them. So we go down here. It's Y11. So it's diamond mining level. I just need to extend it out as far as I want, really. I can do that. And then I can start strip mining. I will start strip mining like here and here. But first, I really wanted some iron because I'm like, well, if I'm going to go strip mining, uh, uh, Y11, I'm going to need an iron pick. I'm going to need some, some iron tools. I just, it's just mandatory. And so I went on the hunt for a cave. And yeah, I appreciate the newer versions for being able to have caves and cave openings everywhere instead of it just being another dead end. Because finding a cave in this version was so difficult. I traveled so far. I found a new biome even. Um, I don't know how to show you properly because there are mountains everywhere, but over there, past the dark oak forest and this big snowy mountainous biome, I don't know exactly what it's called, snowy mountain, spruce mountain, just mountain, there is a birch forest and in that birch forest there is a cave which just so happens to leave lead to very big caves and lava and all that stuff and I'm very grateful for that. I think I can finally get started working on the house or what I want to be worked on. I would also like to Welcome back. It's been a little bit. I don't remember exactly what I did last time. But if you could not tell, I have a house now. <laughs> I think it's a pretty obvious addition. But, oh, this is not the greatest house. <laughs> I'm just being honest, this is not my best work. 
but I felt very restricted, which should bring out creativity. It didn't in this case. <laughs> I wanted to get a nice little basic house built. So I just did this very basic exterior. I wanted a little pop of color, a little nod to the volume that we're in. So I used some red terracotta, which I got from over there. Also, this right here, this is done. It's not pretty. I have to build it up. I have to make it look very pretty, very put together. You know, this goes down all the way to here. So it's got a little bit of farmland down here, which is super fun. But this right here, I built this as a temporary solution to um, a problem. This is not what it's going to be like. I may incorporate terracotta in it. I may try to make it look like it's this, like two pieces of rock that are connected to each other. Um, like both of the mountains are kind of connected by a big rock or something. That would probably look cool and be a lot more unique than just a average bridge. But you can see my house from here. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at my home. It's so pretty. Look at that old, old window texture. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Need to get working on this. Because what is... <laughs> that is not... <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to look. We got the bed, the kitchen, the storage room. I'll have to make more chests. I really, I have to go around and I will go around. I'll get rid of this little, uh, these trees over here. These trees, these trees, those trees, and probably those over there as well. Just to clear out the area a bit and to get some wood and materials. And also, of course, I'm going to get these trees. I don't know what I have decided to include and what I haven't decided to include. So I'm just going to tour around the whole place that I have currently done at the moment, which I will definitely be expanding upon in the very, very, very near future. I have a tiny farm and a tiny cactus farm. Now here's the thing, I want to get rid of these. <laughs> I do not like this being here. I thought I would be okay with a farm down here, but I, I kinda, I'm not. I'm gonna try to put it up there, somehow. I don't know how, I'm gonna try. And then this is my mine. There's not much special down there. I do plan on expanding this. This is my next project. I'm going to expand this to make it a two block pathway. And then on this side, I'll have a place for a minecart, just so it's easier to get up or down. But also this, this is the bridge I just got done building. Took me most of the day, just cause I had no clue what I wanted to do. Also, I'm, I don't know if I'm the happiest with it, but I'm living with it. That's, that's for sure. I'm just going to live with it. And it goes straight to my nether portal, which I decided would look like it's a part of the natural landscape of the Mesa. See, I kind of took inspiration from there. Just looking around, I added some cacti and some torches, brighten it up just a little bit. A little bit. I want to give it a little bit more character. You know, I feel like nether portals are always that really ugly part of our world that we don't really care too much about. In the past, I, I would just set up a nether portal, put a fence around it with a gate, and that's it. Like, that's it. Just put a fence around it with a gate. Maybe I'd be a little fancy and get some, like, warped blocks. Can't do that in this version, but I thought about it. I think I did a really good job. I went out of my way, collected all the materials that I needed to do this. And I think I did a really good job. I think it looks super good, especially, um, maybe, maybe this is just me for, but for 1.8, I feel like I did a really good job on this bridge. You know, I feel like even though it's not the, it's not the best bridge in the world, it's not very fantastic, especially on the top there, it gets a little lame and I might have to extend it a little bit, make it go smoother. I still think it's really nice and it has a lot of character to it. This is the same day as I finished my lovely bridge right here. My beautiful, beautiful bridge that I spent three hours working on. So pretty. I love it so much. I really do. 
Which is why I have to leave, actually. I can't stop staring at it, and I have to force myself to go somewhere else, so I can stop staring at it. So that's where we're gonna go to the Nether. I have not been to the Nether yet. A part of me doesn't know if I really want to go to the Nether because most of the time if you're in the Nether, you're gonna travel very far. You're gonna try to travel super far, mostly, so you can find fortresses and all that really cool stuff that you normally find at the Nether. However, because I'm in 1.8, new Nether isn't here. And I don't know what you're supposed to do to reset your Nether. I don't know if I can do that. I, d I don't know if that's even possible in single player. I've never even thought of it before. So parts of me don't want to go, but other parts of me want to go because there's things in there that I would really enjoy having. Like Nether Rack and Quartz for building and glowstone and I'm ready I've got iron <laughs> I've got iron now again I'm on peaceful so I'm not actually like gonna find anything to fight in there it's mostly just a resource gathering trip and an exploration trip I'm ready to get to work okay what a warm welcoming if, if that is the warmest welcoming I've ever received. This is actually pretty decent. I, oh. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're joking. There's no way. I love how I say that. As if I'm just going to walk up to it and it's going to be a mirage. It'll just disappear immediately. Okay. I, I swear, I've, I've never, I've never been here before okay it doesn't say but I've never been in in here before I did not know that this was here I did not know whatsoever I, I've never if I had been here I definitely would have left traces my luck my damn luck put that right there and we'll have a direct torch path leading back to where the home is Oh, let's see if I can find some nether wart too. Ooh, another wart. So now I'm ready to work on the. Oh, I should work on the mine. I really should, but I want to work on the enchantment area really badly. I guess if I get done with the mine, then I can do the enchantment area, and I'll. Guess who forgot to make an outro for the video? This gal. This one right here. In front of your eyes. So yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>